Yes, hello everyone. Pleasure to see you all here today. So we have six people now and we're going to wait for a few more minutes as usual for all the other people to join and then we will start. So I see Mr. Lindley Augustin. Hello, Lindley. Mr. Douglas Froff. And a number of new names. Glad to see you all here today. Mr. Alejandro Leal has joined us as well. So we'll just. Uh, yes, hi, Alejandro. So we'll just wait for one more minute, I think, and then we will go into the webinar. Yes, so I can see people from uh, Guatemala, Italy, Mauritius, United States, and I believe a number of other countries. Hope you're all doing fine. I think this will be a pretty small demonstration, most likely. Uh, <clears throat> so yes, I believe we can start. So some of you are familiar with us already. Uh, my name is Ivan. Uh, I'm a NOSINT analyst at Social Links. Uh, today, uh, we have with us as well, uh, Ms. Alexandra Samoseva, uh, our key account manager. Hello. Hello, everyone. Yes, Alexandra is uh, responsible for working with current customers and uh, with customer success procedures. And today we will be covering uh, the capabilities of the Social Links Telegram pack, which we have as a separate acquisition oriented towards working with uh, historical data uh, within Telegram. And uh, Alexandra will start with a presentation uh, containing in general overview of the Telegram PAX capabilities. So Alexandra, word to you, please go on. Uh, yes, Ivan, thank you a lot. Uh, as Ivan said, uh, we are going to talk today about uh, our uh, Telegram capabilities in social links uh, as a plugin for Multigo. Um, so as you all know, um, Telegram is one of the important sources uh, for the OSINT investigations. But before that, um, let me tell you a few uh, statistic facts about the Telegram. Um, so Telegram is um, has uh, 50, uh, 550 million must, monthly active users, uh, and uh, it uh, has an Im Im impossible increase of uh, 175 since uh, uh, the year of 18. Uh, also, Telegram was the seventh most, most downloaded app across iOS and Android. And uh, Telegram currently has more than uh, 55 million daily active users. Um, the average Telegram user spend about three hours on the app uh, each month. Um, so as you can see from the statistic, Telegram grows every single year. Uh, and um, according to the company data, uh, Telegram uh, has grown more than three times. Um, so Telegram's user base has been growing at a rate of more than 50 or 40 of each year since its launch in uh, 2013 year. Um, why actually Telegram is important for the uh, investigations currently? As it has uh, uh, around uh, 55 million daily users uh, across all those uh, um, all, all iOS and Android, uh, uh, they uh, cover for about uh, mainly people all over the world. And uh, while Telegram is one of the most 
popular instant messaging apps for many businesses and individuals. Also, it's uh, one of the important sources for the groups, channels, and all the other uh, things like that. Um, so what is actually Telegram Pack and what we're going to talk uh, about today and what we're going to show you? Um, Telegram Pack um, provides a Telegram module that offers a wide range of possibilities for analyzing and uh, contents of uh, any Telegram chat channels and the activity of its users. Uh, our main feature in the Telegram Pack is the anonymization of the Telegram Messenger users. Um, also, you can store all text and media, uh, including the deleted text messages in the chats. So we use uh, the historical data from the Telegram pack. Uh, also, we use triggers and notifications by a specific keyword, uh, which you can use uh, for look at uh, the chats, groups, and the channels. Uh, by uh, search by username, TGID, phone number, or for you for other user data. Um, so also by keyword, you can use a specific group chat or a channel. Uh, you can cross the correlation between group chats uh, or user interests. Also, you can uh, find some historical avatars and usernames. So use uh, the previous photos of uh, the user. And you can find the published uh, met metadata, such as phone number, addresses, and emails. Um, well, what is Ivan going to show you? Uh, it's a few cases where Telegram pack is, can be used. Uh, the first one is going to be about the social network analysis. Uh, and uh, Ivan is going to use Telegram as a source of the investigation. So it's like overall view of the Telegram uh, source. Uh, also, Ivan is going to uncover the historical data about the individual account and the communities. And uh, the third case is going to be about uh, the user dynamization with the further pivoting into the digital footprint. Um, so here I'm going to, yeah, Ivan, you can continue with the, with the cases. Um, yes, thank you. So. Uh, here we have a very simple uh, example of uh, finding a Telegram account from the username. And we have a number of further options available from that. So uh, we can get the historical photos, the general details, and the groups that the user participates in. as well as the historical geolocation of the POI. Mm, yes, uh, apologies, everyone. Uh, having some problems with my Maltigo client. We'll just restart it quickly and come back into the screen share. Uh, so uh, yes, while this is reloading, uh, I'll, ju I'll just say that uh, we will look into examples of working with a username, with a phone number, with keywords, and with uh, communities within Telegram. So just a couple of seconds, we'll reopen it now. And we're back. And we'll now apply the transforms that I've listed previously. Uh, the first one to get the groups that the individual is participating in.
and we will also try to get the phone number. Uh, this relies purely on uh, historical data, and we have some additional features on our side that uh, cover the uh, real-time telegram data. So this was a photo that was previously uh, deleted by the user, uh, hence the historical data. And now from those communities, we will get the members, messages within them, admins, and owners. Uh, these transforms are divided into uh, several tiers, and each one has a specific daily limit to work with them. So tier one has a limit of 1,000 per day. Uh, tier one and three have a limit of 100 per day. Tier two has 50, and tier four, getting the phone number, is limited to 10 queries per month. So as this person is... Uh, a Brazilian Python developer, we can see that uh, most of those communities are uh, Python communities. And they point to different countries. Uh, so one to Egypt, uh, several to Philippines, and several to France. And all the connections are formed automatically if uh, the output is identical from two or more entities. Now we can go into the details for each of those telegram messages and see what is the date it was published, uh, who was the user, and if there are any replies. And of course, uh, from the Telegram entity itself, we can search for uh, this person's presence uh, in the other sources that social links covers. So uh, those would mostly be, of course, mainstream social media. Uh, I'd say that apart from uh, getting more data about the user and uh, more data about the groups. Uh, one of the most interesting parts about this is how through intersections, uh, we can see which members are uh, members of several groups at once. So this can be quite useful for uh, social network analysis within Telegram. Now in this next example, uh, this is pre-made, but uh, we will restore this trail of thought from scratch now. Uh, the phone number is closed for this account. What we have is the Telegram ID, the alias, and the historical aliases for the account. And the phone number is closed. Now we will delete everything except for the username and the Telegram account entity. And run a transform to get the phone number as an example. And here we get it, even though it's closed in the profile. And now we can apply additional transforms to further enrich it. Those can be some of the Maltigo transforms and some of the social, social link sources as well, of course. So this gives us a number of uh, data points from our inner database, a WhatsApp account 
a Skype account, the fact of the presence of the phone owner in Facebook. And now we can make an extraction from that and work with this data further. And uh, the SLIC uh, doesn't have all of the strings containing the uh, phone number together with the Telegram ID, uh, but it has a portion of them and it's another way to uh, look for uh, the presence of a specific phone owner in Telegram and uh, the connection of the phone number to a specific account. Yes, while uh, the queries are running, please feel free to ask any questions if you have them. Another example that we will cover will include keyword searches. So some of the outputs are the Telegram channels. Some of them are the messages themselves. Uh, some of them are Telegram bots. We can see uh, that those do bear some relation to the initial query, ETH address. And we can try to get the details from those messages. and some of the details about the channels as well. And also search for groups with similar names. Uh, there is a question whether we can use a Telegram ID to run a transform. Uh, yes, we can certainly use it, and we can try with one example now live. Some of the details uh, such as Facebook IDs or phone numbers are extracted automatically uh, from the channel descriptions.
Mm, yes, there does seem to be uh, a problem with searching from the Telegram ID. Uh, it has worked previously, but uh, we'll note this and uh, work on it so the users can uh, have an opportunity to work with that as well. So yes, that would be all on our part with the functional demonstration. Uh, I believe there might potentially be some additional questions now. And we can also go into the Q&A section. So I'll ask my colleague George now to um, launch the poll. The first question would be, what type of organization do you work at? Is it a law enforcement agency, uh, private practice, or other? Uh, the Telegram pack as a separate acquisition is only provided to uh, government and law enforcement customers. Uh, but uh, our own uh, Telegram capabilities can be used uh, by any client within the standard SL Pro package. The second is how often do you encounter cases in your investigations where you need Telegram? The third is, do you use OSINT tools for your investigations in general? Would you be interested in a one-to-one -one demo uh, a more tailored one, perhaps with uh, your own input data to learn how SL Pro can help you with your investigations? And does your company have a dedicated budget for purchasing an OSINT solution this year? Uh, yes, uh, Jeff is asking, are Telegram users able to mark themselves private or are all users and messages available? Uh, with our own functionality, uh, the, uh, we won't see the uh, private things, of course. With the Telegram pack as a separate acquisition, uh, you will be able to see uh, some of the data that has been deleted and uh, potentially some info from closed communities uh, if an invitation link uh, to that specific closed community has been posted on an open Telegram source, which was then scraped by our third party. Uh, yes, everyone, please feel free to ask any other questions if you have them. And also, please feel free to answer the questions which we have for you. If there aren't any more uh, questions at the moment, then uh, uh, thank you everyone for your time. We encourage you to uh, schedule a live demo with us if uh, you would be interested uh, in a more detailed discussion as how this can be implemented into your specific practice and your workflow. And we're going to uh, have, as usual, just announcing a number of other webinars with uh, industry experts on different topics. And uh, the, the one that we will have the soonest uh, will be with a person with quite, quite extensive uh, industry experience that will be covering the evolution of OSINT, Sockment, and CTI. And we'll certainly be glad to see you there. Thank you for your time again. Yes. Thank you for coming. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Ivan, and uh, thank you, everyone, who came today. It was a pleasure to meet you. And uh, please feel free to contact us directly. We will be happy to, to speak with you and to answer all the questions about the Telegram pack and all the others. So thank you a lot. Bye-bye.